Hey guys, Bill Palmer here. Um, just talking you through a few things today. I've been looking for some information about changing a Floyd Rose system and I found a real dearth of information on the internet about um, how to go about that. This is a Chavel uh, La Guitar, as you can see. Uh, it's a Japanese main wild card that I've had for around about a year. It's got the Strat style headstock and it came with um, all black hardware which I've obviously since changed to Chrome. And as you can see here, where there would normally be a locking nut, now has something different. This is an Ebanol nut, E-B-A-N-O-L. And it's just, it acts like a standard nut. It seems to be made out of some sort of graphite uh, plastic type material, pretty much like the Graftech type stuff that uh, you see floating about. And um, yeah, so basically in a nutshell, I've converted my fluid row system to more of a traditional Strat style trim which um, to my ears at least it sounds a lot more uh, I guess vintage and it's gotten rid of that Floyd Rose um, sound which um, as you may or may not know you get an upper mid-range sort of zing to the sound with a Floyd Rose uh, it can be appealing in a certain sense but for what I do I've found that uh, I really don't like it so I'll just talk you through what I've done basically the bridge system which was down here this is now a shallow bridge I'll just Zoom that up a bit so you can see, a shallow bridge, S-C-H-A-L-L-E-R. And they refer to this model as their vintage tremolo. I'm not sure why they say it's that, but that's what they say. And you'll see that these two posts here, these two posts, are actually from the Floyd Rose bridge that was here. So this is the only bridge that I'm actually like aware of that can is a, is a uh, direct drop-in uh, retrofit for a Floyd Rose bridge. And what I mean by that is you don't need to re-drill any holes for the posts. Um, you can use the existing post that you already have and you can basically take the old bridge out and insert this bridge and you're pretty much good to go. You've obviously got to set up your intonation and your radius on your bridge. Uh, I'll flip it over, you can see on the back there's the steel steel trem block in the back okay so the strings light in from the back. You see I've got three springs there okay I've, I personally, this is actually what I use, I use two uh, hard tension springs on the base side and one uh, soft or I guess you call it a sort of medium tension spring on the treble side. The reason for that is when I'm bending strings on the treble side I find that my bass strings don't move. Okay, so and I've also got a trem stopper there as well. Okay, the reason for that is I don't use up bends or I don't actually pull the, the uh, bar backwards. My um, this guitar has been routed for a Floyd Rose so that you can actually pull it up. I'll need to get some sort of cover put over that or I have to sort of lock my guy or something up myself. But essentially, <clears throat> if you are looking to uh, get get rid of your Floyd Rose, um, the general orthodox consensus seems to be that you can just lock it down. In uh, other words, put a block of wood in the back here so that you can't pull it up and have it sitting flush to the body. And that's, I guess, one way of doing it without changing anything. But you can actually go this route. Now, I paid 130 bucks for this uh, like shallow trim. You can get this from all parts or eBay. Um, it's got roller saddles too. Um, you probably can't see that in the thing. Oh, you might be able to see that. It's got roller saddles, so it actually comes back to pitch really well. It uses the like existing post from a Floyd Rose. And up top here, you could either leave your locking nut on if you wanted to, but I opted to go for this Ebonol nut. Okay, so that if I want to drop tune things or if I want to tune things up um, it's very easy to do, I don't need to unclamp things or whatnot and also the Floyd Rose bridge apart from the way it sounds it's a real pain to change strings you've got to cut off the ball ends and feed them in the top this is just a lot more straight ahead and functional intonation setups is really straightforward you just intonation is accessed on the back there you move the saddle back and forward and also on this bridge I can actually uh, if I want to raise just one or two saddle heights I can do that uh, as well on a Floyd Rose, I'm not sure if you know, but you can actually adjust individual saddle heights. So that's the deal guys, um, if you are looking to do that, it's a very simple thing to do. It took me about probably half an hour to do the whole thing. Um, I bought the Ebonol nut <coughs> off of eBay as well as the bridge, 160 bucks for both of them. Um, you need to specify what your nut is. If you take off your Floyd Rose nut, you might see some numbers on the back. Okay, mine had R3, so I, I had an R3 uh, size nut. Um, so when you're ordering your Ebon on that, you'll need to uh, tell them what size it is, okay? So it sounds a lot better to my ears, it sounds a lot more, um, uh, it's got that sort of vintage sound back again, uh, it's got rid of that high-end zing that the Floyd Rose gives off, and more importantly it's very functional, it's easy to change strings, 
and to detune if I need to. So that's the video. I hope that helps someone out there because I didn't seem to find much information about this setup. But um, best of luck if you are looking to change your fluid rows and leave comments and let me know. Cheers. Bye.